short video will describe how the stack effect works in a house, creating heat loss and cold air infiltration during the heating season. Here we have a classic ranch styled house, one floor of living space with a full height basement. To show how the stack effect works, we will be removing the exterior walls and some of the sheetrock to let you see into the structure of the house. Now we can see inside of the house. Firstly, a bit about how heat moves. Most people think that heat rises, but this is not the case. Heat moves from hot to cold. Hot air rises and is the main driving force behind the stack effect. During the heating season, the warm air that is created by your heating system rises like in a hot air balloon. This hot air pushes up against the top pressure plane of your living space, which is the sheetrock of your top floor ceiling. The high pressure in this air pushes its way through any holes or gaps in the ceiling, which includes holes for lamps, recessed lights, bath fans, as well as the top plates of framing of interior and exterior walls. The air pushes through these gaps into the attic spaces and out into the cold winter outside. The air that is leaving the house through the small gaps in the ceiling creates a low pressure pocket in the lowest place in the house, which is in the basement. This happens along the perimeter joist and the mud sill at the top of the basement wall and other gaps and openings. Air infiltrates through these gaps to equalize the pressure as nature loves balance. However, the air that enters through the gaps to repressurize the house is freezing cold from outside. These two effects create what we call a convective loop. The warm air you have created to heat your house pushes its way through gaps in the ceiling into the attic, which in turn pulls cold air into the basement, and the cycle continues.